Gmail was down. You're familiar with Gmail? Sure. Last week, it's funny, because last week at the end of the show, Google went down. Google, right. the search engine. And then just this week, uh, well, just yesterday morning, I guess, this happened. Wow. Welcome to Gmail. So for probably about a day, like started yesterday morning and uh, ended this, this afternoon our time, so late afternoon their time. That's Down a long time on the World a Wide Web. Pretty long, a long outage time. for, for mm -hmm. Google to have uh, no ability for people to log in and check their email through the web-based, uh, like the website. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were frustrated because there was not a lot of help going on from Google in that they did post updates regularly, mm -hmm. about once every hour or so, but they all said the same thing. We are continuing to investigate this issue. We will provide an update in one hour. Users can access, here's something interesting, users can access their email via IMAP or POP. IMAP and POP are like the ability to use a program like Thunderbird, uh, Outlook Express, Evolution, Microsoft Outlook, these applications so that you don't have to use the website to get your email. But the catch-22 of it all is that if you don't first configure your Gmail account to support IMAP or POP, you then can't, you're out of luck. You can't use it. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, oh, Gmail's down, and here's what a lot of people were hoping for. Okay, Gmail's down, the site's down, I can't check my email through the website. No problem, they have IMAP, right? So we'll just set up a new account, we'll go imap.gmail.com and hope that it'll work, but it doesn't work unless you previously were one of the fortunate people who had already set that up in your in your uh, Gmail account. So something that you want to do, now the Gmail's back up and running, it's only been up for about an, an hour, just a little bit under an hour, is you want to get onto the uh, Gmail website, <clears throat> log into your account, and hit settings up at the top there. And when you go to, there's a button up here, forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Just as a kind of a preliminary, we want to make sure that this doesn't happen to you again, do we want to enable IMAP and enable POP for all of our mail? Let's just turn those two things on if you're a Gmail user, and then that way, if this ever were to happen again, which it's obviously quite rare, but if it ever happens again, it uh, you'll be kind of set because you'll be able to use IMAP or POP to be able to download or access your email via something other than the website. But I think Google really has to give a little bit of consideration to, okay, well, here we're telling people that you can use IMAP and POP to get your email while the website's down, but, like I said, catch-22, you can't if you didn't set that up while it was up. And, and who would think to do that, really? Exactly. Who, who would take oh, the yeah, time? Oh, yeah, I like the convenience of going to the website because I don't have to set up an application. I can use exactly. it from any computer. It's convenient. But even if you're not going <clears> to <throat> even if you're not going to use it, why don't you enable that and then we don't have to worry about it, but Google should really assess that and say, maybe this should be an option that's enabled by default and people have the option of disabling it. That might be a thought. We have a few comments. <coughs> yeah, I'd love to have your thoughts uh, on, uh, on the chat room, or in the chat room, category5.tv. Lots, uh, lots of people mentioning some stuff. Yeah, uh, Workhouse says he accessed it during that time. Apparently some places still had access. Off and and on. Uh, Yeah, and John Roberts says it sounds like it was just the web front end. Uh, Patrico, a uh, fake uh, Gmail, worked in the Netherlands. Mm. Uh, no, no issue with Gmail in Australia. So uh, Gadget Wisdom's wondering if it was only North America that was hit. I don't know. I, I, as far as I understand it, it was a system-wide thing, but it was kind of intermittent as they were working on it. So, and of course, different time zones, right? Mm -hmm. So when we say it was like a, f you know, it was a full day for us here in Canada because we're what two or three hours uh, ahead of California, give or take. So so that means, you know, come 6.30 p.m. tonight was when it finally came back up, hmm. our time. But it was only 4.30 or 3.30 or somewhere around there. Their yeah, time, John Roberts says he slept through it. You see, that's, that <laughs> might be the thing, right? So, But uh, certainly a lot of people in, in America and in Canada would have been affected by this. Right. So I think it's just a good idea to enable those features in your account uh, if you want to log into Gmail. Uh, and, and just set that up just so that it's there so that if it ever happens again you can say whew 
glad I set that up as, right. a, as a you know preliminary step to this problem, and then you'd be able to check your email from another application. You'd be good to go.